COVID-19 is affecting all of us and especially local nonprofit organizations who have been struggling in the past to raise money. Now they have to be extra creative to help raise money. I'm pleased to be joined by, by Lori Lasant, who is the president and CEO of Community Services for Sight, formerly the Hazleton Blind Association. Lori, you have a big event coming up this Saturday. It's your fourth annual uh, run and walk, uh, the Honey Hole 10K, 5K, but you told me it's not going to be like it was in years past. You had to make a lot of changes because of COVID-19. That's correct, Lisa. Unfortunately, you know, we get so used to what we normally do, and now we have a new way of doing what we normally do. And as you mentioned, nonprofits are not excluded from that. So um, our run this year, normally, you know, last year we had 125 people who ran or walked or dog jogged at um, Honey Hole Winery. We all started at one time and went out. This year you have from 7 a.m. until 11.59 a.m to start. So you might show up at seven o'clock and start running. I might come at nine o'clock and start running or walking. We've also added to this 5K, 10K, we have our dog jog. And we also have a half marathon happening as well. So that's a new option for us. We've never done that before. Um, so that's brand new. And then we're also, uh, which is, you know, I'm learning as we go along. And thank God for Rob Gould at Second Wind Timing, who's been making sure I know what I'm doing with all of this. Um, we're also adding a virtual component to it. So if you still don't feel comfortable coming out, even though we're not going to have that crowd and we are going to have all of our uh, safety requirements in place, you can still do a virtual run. You could sign up on our, at our link, which is um, runsignup.com. You can find our race there and you could pre-register. We are encouraging all pre-registrations so that everybody is signed up. Again, it eliminates that crowd uh, and we can continue to practice social distancing. But uh, the virtual run, you could run and then you will be in a separate category. So when award time comes, which will be a week or two after the event, then you can submit those results and still be included. Now this starts and ends for those who are participating in person at the Honey Hole Winery in Drums. So tell us about that and how the race, you know, the path will go. Sure, so you're actually running on an open road. Um, it is not a trail. We are doing a trail time format for the timing of this event, but it is not like our past trail run. So what we have done is you start at the Honey Hole Winery and you head out onto Honey Hole Road. And we do have the, the course will be with, you know, we'll have people out there, we'll have water stations. So you will know where you're going. And they can get all your information on your Facebook page, all the details on this as well too. That's correct. Our Facebook page is the best place to look for all the, the updates for the information. So now we know COVID-19 is affecting everyone, every organization. How has it impacted your daily routine at Community Services for Sight? Well, you know, of course, uh, my, one of the biggest things that I do is I go into people's homes to help serve them. Uh, you know, it might be reading mail, doing some counseling. We have a van that provides medical transportation. Um, we have done some things a little different in that our transportation is still running. However, you know, we have safety guidelines in place for that. You know, our driver is wearing a mask. Our client is wearing a mask. They're not allowed to sit in the front passenger seat. They must sit in the back, um, you know, to keep a little bit of a distance there. The van is disinfected, which it's always, this, this part hasn't changed for us. Uh, the van is disinfected after every individual gets out of the van before someone new gets in. Um, medical appointments, all essential appointments we've still been doing, transportation to getting groceries. We've been going grocery shopping for some of our clients uh, to cut their risk of having to go into the store. And as far as home visits, I have not been able to do those, but we have been able to have clients come to the office so again, where we can control the social distancing and um, the safety guidelines. One of the things I have to say, Lisa, that has changed dramatically for our agency is the way we do our support groups and some of our group programming. I'm so proud of my clients because they've all learned to use Zoom and uh, conference calling. 
So instead of having a monthly support group or a monthly group program, we've been able to do a weekly support group to connect individuals from the three counties we serve. And we've had so many other new individuals joining us because they don't have to make the trip. And if someone watching this maybe can't get involved or you know doesn't do runs or anything like that, but they want to help, I saw you could donate on your Facebook page. So that's a great way for them to make a donation to make sure you can keep all these services going. Correct. Uh, anyone could go to our Facebook page and make a donation. You can call the office at 570-455-0421. You can do a donation that way over the phone via credit card, or you can send a check to our address at 4 Brook Hill Road in Sugarloaf. All right, very good. Before we leave you, you told me there's two other events you just wanted to give a reminder on. Yes, so we're really excited to be partnering again this year with Beanbo Bakeries for our uh, golf tournament, which will be happening happening um, July 24th at Sand Springs. Then we also have a new event coming up that we've never done before. We're doing it at the uh, Cigar, Cigar Pub in um, Drums. So that's happening on June 26th. And again, our Facebook page has some information on it. And once again, as I keep repeating, we will follow all the safety guidelines necessary. And we have one new event that is just in the works that I'm extremely excited about. We'll be working with Joe Stanavich from uh, Pierogi Joe's. We're going to be doing a drive-through food truck festival that will be held at the Laurel Mall parking lot. I wish you nothing but continued success, and I hope your race is really a tremendous success. So good luck, Lori. And uh, good luck to all the runners. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. All right. Lori Lassant, the President and CEO of Community Services for Sight.